Okay, what are we talking about this time? We're talking about some Mortal Kombat, but not just any Mortal Kombat. Ultimate Mortal Kombat. Yep, made by Williams. Mortal Kombat 3, expansion pack. We're still charging you 60 bucks, though. <laughs> so what do you say, Jay? I'm here with? Just some relaxation. Yep. I just woke up from a nap. Okay, so we got a lot more characters here that weren't in Mortal Kombat 3. Here we got Scorpion, Katana's back. There we got Molina again. And Smoke is now a playable character instead of a secret character. Yeah, in this mode we can select two characters, so it's two on two action. Is Barack in this one? Not Barack, but Baraka. <laughs> uh, no, I think they took some characters out of this one. Yeah. So, yeah. I think Shiva's not in the game, and Baraka's not in this game. It doesn't say their names when you select them. I thought that was kind of funny. Yeah. Scorpion. Scorpion. Yeah, I think this game had a lot of memory problems, so it's not going to be as big as like the Sega Saturn version. Yep, so just like before, it's a 2D fighting game. Not much has changed. Not much has changed at all, actually. I don't think Sub-Zero and Melina have any new moves here. They might have new combos and all that, but that's about it. And you have to look very deep to actually find them. Oh, that's cool though. Oh, that's cool. I had a weapon there for a few seconds. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> so it's still a fun, fun game, but I think the striker guy, the cop, can now use a gun, but that's about it. <laughs> There's hardly any new moves in this. There's hardly any reason why you should drop like 60 bucks. Oh, it's probably going to be a lot cheaper now, but... <laughs> Originally, it was 60 bucks. It was just a minor upgrade. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, Scorpion Sub-Zero, classic fight. Remember that movie that sucked? Which one? Uh, both of them. <laughs> oh, right, the first one was good, but the second one actually had to fight. It was Mortal Kombat Annihilation. Oh, pretty strange. <laughs> So yeah, do you think too much has changed? Like this no, really doesn't it, look. It plays like just like Mortal Kombat 3. <laughs> a few new characters and big fucking whoop. Here we got a new difficulty master. Woo! Two masters. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Master of master. They're both called master. <laughs> yeah, one slightly one bigger than ultimate. Yeah. yeah, ultimate Mortal Kombat. Why? Yeah. Why are they both called master? That doesn't make any sense. Well, you called me Master Vader. <laughs> See, he thinks it's funny. Hmm. Good joke. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, there's not really not too much we can say. Some of the moves are the same, and yeah, it's kind of a disappointing upgrade. And we just got a bunch of classic characters making their return, but we hardly got any new ones. I think Jade is really the only new one in this game that we haven't actually been able to play as before. And that's it! <laughs> Mortal Kombat, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. <laughs> It's a pretty lackluster sequel, and I really don't recommend it. Here's a new background. Here's Cyrak. It's in there. And you can still play as Cyrak in the stage, and it makes no sense. Yeah, yeah it's just still a very fun fighting game. If you got Mortal Kombat 3, don't even bother with this. It's pretty much the same game, unless you're a really hardcore Mortal Kombat nut, and you just want a little bit more. So, yeah. So I give it a 55 out of 100. So what do you say, Jay? I give it 57. 57? Alright. Alright, this is Star Soldier! Jason, relaxation. Yeah, not masturbation. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, man. Okay, over now. Right.